guy out there looking at my truck and he said, Mister, is that your truck? I said, yeah. And he said, man, you got a nice barbecue in the back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I always get asked about uh, bull peanuts and moonshine. Yeah. Uh, yesterday we got out of here. That's right. <laughs> 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 you used to really need to put TNT barbecue back here. That's all you have to do, huh? Sucks it in. to have a chimney that won't absorb a lot of heat. Like it's insulative. Yeah, insulative. So, yeah. This is Alabama red clay with a whole bunch of this one got wet and bounced. Bounce. You can mix this is the first one we did in a metal bucket. It took forever to cure. All the set all winter in the shop. This wouldn't hard Because the you know, all the water would come yeah. out. Normally you couldn't take uh, them fire out. it. You couldn't just fire it in a thing to. Well, yeah. if you fire something wet too fast, it yeah. right. You can put some of in there. Now like that stuff. Oh yeah. Um. I don't know. I got I got to cut off a little bit on that. On that. Uh, that, yeah. yeah. I had enough to block the stairs. Yeah, then you need that wall to be. I can cut it. Cut it. Yeah. It was amazing how much carbon was in there. I chiseled, 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 chiseled it out, put a brand new aluminum tendon plate on it, no backfiring. I took the tube out and have it knocked out here. It was close to the manifold. On the way home from Kentucky, driving it home, when I purchase it, I milk it down at one check valve, just from manifold heat. So I had another one, and I took the one that was melted down, and I changed Chris's design, and that check valve is inside the filter. It actually, this is a one-way filter. There's no way it can air. It seals up going that direction. And the reason is, is because I have a way of flaring out of the You can flare gas out the front of it, and there's a check valve there. So when I'm pushing with my pusher, I can come out here and push all the gas up there and flare. Do I use it? No. I don't need to use it. There's no reason to flare. When you got a good char bed, you can start up your gasifier. I can look back here on my other flare tube if I want. But usually I start it up and I've got good gas and I can walk in and, and go. And so uh, there's no need of The other thing was is that I didn't have a pop-off valve here or here. And I put two tennis ball type pop-off valves in. I, when I was having backfiring, it was literally blowing my pipes apart. So how long did Chris run? How many miles did this? This is, this is, uh, I don't know how, how many. you never complained about having done 
Uh, yeah, and see, that is that is a garbage paper, yeah. I mean garbage yeah. plastic bag. Yeah. Two, I think it's two uh, ten mil. Yeah. And that is the original. Okay. I have never touched it. It has not failed. But he and never mentioned having to uh, adjust it, like you said you had to do. Yeah, I don't know if he's uh, he got it set up yeah. and it. Yeah, I just wondered right. how many miles. Did you put more miles on it since then than he did? Yeah, it's all. I've always had it on there ever since. <coughs> and he pretty much built it, and uh, shortly after he built that, I bought it. Yeah. So I have more miles on wood gas than he does with, the, with that on there. Did you make this one yourself? Follow, did you follow a particular someone's particular design or yeah, yeah, I follow Wayne's design? Wayne's design. Yeah, okay. This, this is Wayne's design. And, uh, you know, uh, more of them are saying I want to go. I mean, it's hard to change too much on it because it's such a good design. Yeah. I, I can't complain about it at all. I mean, I came, I came 1,500 miles from Texas and, and I'm a mile away from Texas. You say your wood, like your wood is free, but it's not quite free. Somebody worked it, you picked it up, somebody, this is, is we have any estimates of what the comparative cost is of, I mean, per this, mile of what it's going to take to, to, to run it on wood? Well, this wood here was actually really free because Hurricane Harvey knocked it over. Okay. <laughs> I got a whole bunch of oak, big trees that came over. But, you know, I have so many, you know, constantly have really more wood, there's trees that fall. On my, on my land and stuff, and I mean, I've never, I've never had to harvest anything to burn. It. I mean, it's just always there. But people want to give you wood. I mean, I would burn yeah. crates at first and nail the bill. I quit doing that. Uh, I do have a special feature that nobody else has got. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, there's a flap. Yeah, that's. I'm a short guy. I like that idea. Side door. Yeah. Yeah, I can get to the stuff pretty easy. Yeah. My, my rails are a little different design. I made them for Texas. You know that the real long zigzag back and forth here. Yeah. Longhorn cooling rails. Sleep no, cleaning them, you just open it up in high pressure right there. Yeah, and I can clean up you know, all my clean outs are out here. Okay. So the thing too is I have a I have a V10 uh, two because I didn't know how to build it V10. Uh, this one, so my hoppers shorter. My jets, you know, you can you can see the jets almost pretty easy when it gets down. This is the wood I ran down here, like I say, it's pretty, it's not, it's not very good. And it's, you know, anywhere from that size up to, you know, some pretty good size. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's... What are the tree species? That's a live oak, isn't it? Live oak? Yeah. Yeah. It's live oak, yeah. Do you get a lot of ashes because of the bark, or it's manageable? Compared to pine, I didn't get any more. Okay. The same now. Now compared to to running bronze wood, Lemler wood. Yeah, because yeah, it doesn't have the. But, but compared That's to pine, patented it's by the way, Lemler wood. As far as the pines and stuff. So. <laughs> Ron Lemler, Bourbon, Indiana. Started playing with wood gas in 2008. Back in the economy, took a dive. We were working at the pallet, uh, at our pallet mill, two or three days a week. It was still way down. I decided I was I was going to do something to help the economic. So 
the bubbler would only do like 15%. It, that's a no-brainer if you want something to be totally uh, free of running gasoline. Wood gas is the way to go. And so I started doing research and I found uh, on the forestry forum there was a man named Paul Halverson and he had built a unit using uh, 1980s uh, Mother Earth new plan. And in the end of the plan, the unit is one, they use water heater tanks, and the outside was one whole tank, and the inside was like one whole, another whole tank. And at the bottom, they cut the restriction in and put a grate in there. And the, the problem with that, I, I found out, I followed the plans at first, and then after a while, I found out that you had to reach it down in there five foot. If you had a blockage on the grate, the grate was a, a cast iron frying pan with a stainless steel rods run across it. Okay. So, three drains, yes. Yeah, three drain uh, okay. valves. And then it comes up, comes up after it's cool, comes in. And then the other side, the wood gas comes up from this side. And then I took the old air breather and I just put a, a nipple on it and welded a throttle body so I can control the air fuel mixture from it's an old lever. Very simple. And then it just runs right into the same uh, nipple on the uh, carburetor. Like the original did, and to switch over, you can switch over on the fly, but have to shut off the wood gas and this valve here too. My, you know, one, one of the things I think about is the use of the waste to shut off the fly. Maple syrup and bumper kiln, and maybe even pottery kiln. And then my, my daughter is like, you know, I really need to process things with the line out to see. Just having yeah, problems with the tape. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, the sun's gonna melt the adhesive. Ah, uh, okay. There we go. Brian Woodrow, Nashville, Tennessee. Gorilla tape extraordinaire. <laughs>
That's a heck of a flare you got there, mister. <laughs> I love it. That's serious flaring. Oh my goodness. Some gas. No kidding. You know, when I built my uh, invert system and I had a gas blower blowing, I took the top off my drum and it was blowing. It was blowing. I had like a 10 or 15 foot flame. This big oh round. my gosh. My neighbor called my, called my house and said, is this guy going to burn the neighborhood down? <laughs> Oh, sorry. Oh, heating up the atmosphere. That is neat. It's so blue. I guess that's the charcoal, but. You got a little, little something different in there, Gary? Charcoal. You're, oh, you that's why you're burning the blue then. That's how charcoal burns. Is that right? Well, there's no. It's, uh, I just threw in some wood pellets here, so it may change a little. Uh, it is a little more orange now. Monoxide yeah. Okay. Which is Your blower's nice and quiet. Well, it's only one blower. I don't need a big blower. Yeah, that's lagering in a mixture of the plastic. Now, I'm at a little disadvantage here because I'm not running an exhaust gas in here, so I gotta watch about the overheating of the exhaust. So what's yeah. just my engine's turned off? Right. I can't run my engine with flare open. Okay. So I'm adding some junk down here just to kind of keep it cool off. Could you? Yeah, it's 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 here. Right now, I'm just running these junk because it's wood, wood chunks and there's some charcoal, there's corn in there. <laughs> this gas getting so hot. Dump that in there, how cool. I could piss in there, yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, that'd work. <laughs> this is biochar then, right? Well, <laughs> That's
I was going to ask the dumb question too. Why is his orange and Gary's blue? Yeah, because it's a charcoal. John, look this way. Yes. One more time. Now give us a smile like you enjoy this place. Always, <laughs> there you I go. I always enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like the skeleton of that. It looks like an exhaust system coming off the back of the truck. It is an exhaust also. Yeah, but I mean, going down the road, thank you. I was going back down in the hole, which I don't like. Wind's pushing it backwards, huh? Well, that's what it is, or I'm getting 
good yeah. air. So I think I trust the truck around. And I think the wind, the wind's blowing right in. It's here, stack. Can, can this rotate? No. Okay, cool. I like that. Now what's in the glowing bucket? It's just skirking really good where it's at. It's very moist. Wood chunk. There it's going. Yeah, I can hear it. Hot. Yeah, it's hot. Oh, there it went out. Yeah. 
You can hear it, bro. It's about the same principle running your vehicle or a motor off of LP gas. Yes, yeah, What I do is, is that if you have bamboo, you can create energy. Same as in the USA, like uh, Wayne says, if you have wood, you can travel. So the, uh, if I say I have wood, the people in Thailand say, no, we don't have. It's not sufficient because all the people they cut off all the wood to burn it or make charcoal for any purpose. The bamboo they did not touch, they did not cultivate. So I know India. Does a lot with uh, bamboo. In China, they just plant masses of bamboo because they want to use it. So, if I say to them, use wood, then there was some what wood? It's too difficult. It's uh, I cannot do. Bamboo is is available everywhere. So, if I will start with bamboo tomorrow, I can start cutting already. It's for free. So you have to teach them how to make money with that. So if, if you cultivate it, you can have a nice income, you use it as food, as furniture uh, products, like building products, and, and you can get energy from it. You're working out of a factory that makes rice noodles? That, that you're working with the people, they're kind of sponsoring it a little bit, at least with the space? The factory I'm working out with started with, uh, they are 80 years old manufacturers as a family company. The owners of the company, they came to the project I was attending in uh, North, uh, North Island. They see what I can do with energy. The owner of this company is very interested in supporting initiatives to help farmers. So he see what I build, he followed up, he donated money to the uh, foundation where I was working and then he said what do you need to make it industrial so at the end I came to his place because he had more facilities 
I don't know what material is available. So at this moment, he provides the means to build whatever I want. Uh, he supports me and my wife. And uh, at the same time, I'm helping him with his energy uh, needs in his factory. So we end up between two types, industrial and farmers. Because we want to donate the know-how to farmers, you need to earn money before you can give. Mm -hmm. So that's our mantra, so earn money by saving energy, using biomass, use your know-how, they save money, and that's what they spent on education and setting up like a training center, school, we spent. Man, steady cam. Alright, 